Of course, Namiga's map pick of Anubis. FlyQuest starting on this T side. A lot of utility for Dexter and Ali as the boys head A. Namiga, they've got a triple A setup. Leah's got utility, they've got the dual Beretta's up close. This could be painful for FlyQuest. Ins at the head of the pack. Xanta ready for the swing flashbang for Xanta. Dodges and he starts spamming. Two for him. Khan able to activate for one as well. The bomb given over to the CTs and Khan, he is here. This is where Dexter is looking for some sort of response, something that maybe he can exploit. And it might come to him. Leah approaches on the other side of the wall. Dexter wins out the fight. Yeah, that was really good from Dexter because now he just splits the map in half and he keeps on going but not ready for Khan. Too many angles. Mammoth also found his on towards B and the lineup was nearly there again. But take a look at Vexay and Inns. They've completely split open the defense. Xanta, last player standing. They are low, but he's only got an MP5. Yeah, it's a difficult clutch. No kit for him. And the post line is split across fire. So as soon as Santa goes to investigate one of these positions, the secondary player will be able to swing. I'll sneak in towards main and there's Vexite. No armor on this op. Three players in mid early. They're getting aggressive. Dex up. He's ready for it. Sprays down to your aggressive posturing it means nothing to the IGL Liaz wins out on the third even a fourth body trying to step in to get something back for Namiga but they're in tatters yeah they are I mean look I, really cool idea to just to go for the aggressive play but it just gets matched Liaz was also in support with Dexter swing and a miss from Lear Inns will punish him and now Risky Bob completely on his own the smoke will flash him forward and he's able to potentially grab an AK, but they know exactly where he is now. It's going to be hard pressed for him to even get out alive. Because if Khan was a half a second later, Dexter would have would have been dead for sure. Yeah, he's been he's been fantastic. Fight on dark is also interesting. You see the Mega uh, kind of push the envelope when it comes to the smoke, and it's a lot of damage on Flamus, but it's no kill. Alistair finds one. And this incendiary might just spell the end of him. He does, in fact, burn alive. Risky Bob now feels trapped in towards this dark position. Needs Xanta to bail him out. With Liaz on the close corner. Risky Bob does so well not to reveal himself. In fact, he might even just swing in B main. That would be unorthodox. 20 seconds left. FlyQuest, they do evacuate in the meantime. They've got space that's been given to them by Dexter yet again. He's pulling the strings. Yeah. He immediately knew as soon as the information is gathered that there's been this response to be that there's space elsewhere. And Dexter wins around off the back of it. Three kills for him, gets that opening in towards middle, and then finds the perfect time to slide through camera. Cuts up the rotations. Gets a little scary when Alistair gets burned out and all the reinforcements come to, to support Risky Bob. But Liaz also doesn't overextend in B main. They just keep giving decks to the fights in mid. I really like the little call that they went for here with the pistols. It's a smoke bit, a smoke stairs. So they blanket all the angles with smokes and then they jump out through the window, push all the way through a fast boost up onto rugs, but then there's a flash set up by Khan towards rugs. It was actually a really cool idea. Inns was fully white, but Alistair was supporting, so able to bail him out. But I actually really like the approach because when you see those smokes, you know, you know they're getting aggressive in canals, but I don't think you're expecting a flash play into rugs. Dexter farms, eco frags, double digits for him. There are three players here for the CTs. Liaz is copping bullets through smokes. Dexter looking to make a play. Liaz gets the opener, almost the kill. They have managed to get through. Dexter catches Flamus at the back of the flash. Liaz activates, and that is a perfect execution on B. Namiga had the numbers, but FlyQuest had all of the timings. That was just a taste of Namiga's medicine, it felt like as well, right? A lot of the aggression coming into that from FlyQuest. I really like the 
just the timing of that. They had the space in towards dark. As soon as B main was uh, receiving the, the bulk of the contact and you can feel the nades landing, you know you've got a timing window because these players will be obviously staring at their at B main, but also swapping from their utility to their guns. And that's exactly when FlyQuest push. And as soon as they take contact in dark, they rush through that smoke in B main. They have all the flashes to support. It feels like everyone is contributing. Everyone is surviving. Dexter being an ever-present force in the server. A testament to how much they believe in the idea that they can do this. Vex like through the incendiary. Get space in dark and Flamus is not ready. Yeah, his layering of his Molotov was even better. Oh, Vex site. A bang. Two lights out. This young talent, what can he not do? Finally, drops by Leah, but he's won the round single-handedly through dark. It's lights out. Xantry and Leah. Desperate for a round, desperate for kills, but it's just death at the hands of FlyQuest. Maybe something to be said for Santa. You know where he is, which makes anything he wants to do even more tricky. The flames will keep him at bay. Let them know he's still ever present. Already ends is running through to A to hunt. If Liaz doesn't find the kill first, which he does. As a team, when this happens to you, and it's really difficult just find one round here or there. They need a couple, and Alistair might give them a couple of bullets instead. However, Flamus steps up to the plate. That's now an AK, that's now an AWP. I saw we've been looking for from Flamus, who's been relatively silenced, just like the rest of the team, but has been the superstar stepping up for Unamiga. In. Able to get one back. And Dexter again. Catching off pushing players. If Inns finds both of these, oh, okay, Khan does get one of his own. Drama starts to move. Wasn't even able to pick up one of the weapons, so he's still got this MP9. Liaz threatens the push through the smoke, and it's to his death. Famous with a chance to get this third for Namiga. Dexter dancing around the pillar. Looking for a clutch of his own and jumping around the corner. He's gonna find the kill. Bomb to be planted in the smoke. Khan has no armor. Needs to catch this fight onto Dexter first. No kit either. With the smoke only just being distributed, Dexter's got time to work with. The element of surprise favors Khan, but the bullets favor Dexter. With the pistol and the follow through, but it's been nine in a row for FlyQuest since. Hello. Again, Namiga bold and brave in the face of danger. This time it's FlyQuest on the other side of the map that wanted to get cheeky with a smoke blow. However, it's not happening. Risky Bob finds Liaz. There should be something for Namiga. They should at least have another round to end out this first half. Dexter trying his best to be a nuisance, but needs the support of Ali and Vexite, who are a long way off from him. He's keeping them occupied with these sprays through the smoke. When the smoke commitment you realize that it might just be a ruse. Santa, only one of those HEs actually lands on his position. The flames forcing Vexite forward. Santa hasn't revealed himself. So that's a freebie. An alley. Not really been needed so far in this map. Has to pull off a 1v5. Surely not possible. The flick doesn't hit. The flashbang hits straight into his face. And so there'll be something at the end for Namiga, but that's nine for FlyQuest. The perfect T side. The difficulty for them is that FlyQuest were doing everything in their power just to disrupt and make them eager not play their way. Pistol round is essential. Vexite slides into the pillar with the dual Berettas. Khan gets overwhelmed, but at least that's a trade off Xanta. Liaz has to fall back, give the space to go onto site for the T side bond to be planted. Not a kit on these plays, but Dexter hitting headshots and Leah gush low. Inns is going to walk through the smoke. They're going past Risky Bob now. On some level, they're aware this is a possibility. Alistair fully aware, fully locked in. 
And Zantap has a huge clutch in his hands. The flashbang is going to, well, for a moment, catch him off guard. He's forced back, but the whole time Dex is defusing. Zanta can't peek past Ali. Even if he found the kill, there was no time. A perfect retake. Incendiary is going to hold Namiga back yet again. There's no smokes for FlyQuest, though. That's the that's the new thing. They've just got to delay with flashes. Alistair has gone the wrong direction for the flank as well. Although, he'll get to the back of Dark, and he's going to swap players not looking three of them. In fact, he can't find the kill, but he's got damage and information. They know it's the beacon hit. So low, the MP9s can potentially farm up, but they're overwhelmed. The Galils coming out ahead. Somehow, Namiga, despite being brought low from Ali's spam, are able to breach the site. Slowly dancing their way into the bomb site on diagonals to the point where FlyQuest can't see them until it's too late. Yeah, even with all of the information in the world. Terrorists win. Superior weaponry. Scout M4, three pistols. It's not, it's not as pretty when you when you say it like that. And that's not a pretty sight for Dexter. Oh, Alistair at least grabs the trade. Hoping for even more. That's a tag on Talir. Risky Bob walks into his domain and fortunately, oh, him is able to get a rare miss off of Alistair. Inns walks underneath Xanta. He's aware. He's aware that this could be a possibility. He's going to clear and upgrade himself. Nails can still be a pain in this split. You know, if he's able to find Xanta, get himself the M4. He can't progress any further. Ah, uh, never mind. That is a story for another time. Next sight for the Deagle. We'll just look to hold on to it. Namiga have got a really clear blueprint of how they want to approach these rounds. When the most you can hope for is the single rifle, means they're playing to purchase into the next. And it's just a straight execute onto the B bomb site. Liaz is here with that M4 behind the pillar. He's under pressure and he's dealt with Dexter. Able to get one with the Deagle. Vexite swinging, Vexite spraying, Vexite killing. And Khan and Leah have to pick up the pieces. Smoked out. B is locked down. All around from Vexite. Oh my god. Oh. And it just gets even worse for Namiga. Dexter finding Lear through the smoke. Vexite's not done yet. He's bloodthirsty. In runs through. These MP9s in will finish the job. It's Risky Bob on the AWP instead. This setup in towards CT is so powerful because you might expect one, but are you ready for Vexite up close? Never mind, Leah's far away, deals with Flamus. Ah. Uh, Ow. <laughs> Vexite looks at him, he turns back, bro. What are you doing? HE, Ford, trying to deny the plant. Leah, not quite visible. So they will get the bomb down. The advantage, still with the CTs. Alistair makes it a two player one. And Leah oh, takes a little bit of damage. He's trying to stay alive. Around Obelisk, trying to make a play, and he's found that kill. The follow-up, looking desperately for it, and he's got it. And Ali needs a 1v2. Leah has one HP. And the HP gets him. It bounced off the pillar behind. Alistair has a chance, but Risky Bob on the close range angle is a little bit quicker on the trigger. That was a two on four for the Mika in that post plant. Risky Bob doing a fantastic job in just preventing FlyQuest from being able to constrict this bomb site. Obviously, it doesn't help that that nade's missed. But you got to really praise the, the repositioning as well of Lear. Players in the right positions here. And Vexite's got an MP9 up close. No util. Save this flashbang. Dexed up. Has the prize. Liaz with one of his own. The Molotovs come forward in cell, by the way, but Vexite again pushing through this MP9. He is unstoppable for a moment. Dexter, though, steps up in his place. And now he's the one that has to do it all. A clutch required time, not there. Dexter closes with the quad kill. And that's map point for FlyQuest. Mac 10s, P250s, a single AK on Xanta. It's a horrible position to find yourself in the Mega, who have looked strong throughout this second half. Will overwhelm Vexite at a bare minimum, but guess what? It's that man again in mid. 
Okay, needs to make the play though, because Alistair got overwhelmed. Inns gets one back. That's the AK in his hands. He has got an AWP. They're into A. The CTs can group up. Main is their main avenue that they can approach together. Difficulty is going to be Lyric can lock down this angle with the AWP. Got a flashbang to maybe set up the play. And oh, Inns! The repeak leaves it onto Leah, the IGL of this squad too, to open up this round. Now he needs two to close. Knows where one is coming from, but he has doubt. Not sure about Leah's position. Bomb tapped, and now he knows. Sees the util, hits the shot. Knows that the final player was towards the pillar, and there's no kit, there's no time, there's Leah. Another quad kill from the IGL of the other side. Dexter has to rotate. Xanta's been quietly chugging along over at A. Hang on a sec. Free pushing. Out dark. Liaz finds one, but it's risky Bob and Khan. We should get the majority of those FlyQuest members. And now Flamas can just step in from B main. Ali caught looking the wrong way. That's going to shave a lot of seconds off the clock, but FlyQuest have not moved. They've really invested in the idea of this B bomb site. Xanta. With that molly should be the indication to fly quest that they need to get a move on a blow on the smoke but it's Lear yet again it feels like he is everywhere in this server dragging the amiga out from the depths of despair and three mp9s needs to take on five ak's it feels like overtime's all but a guarantee it really does with ins for low flammers keeping him at bay even the HE. Actually, Inns is able to break through. Lee has one. Lee is low. Maybe there is a world, a chance, a retake that felt impossible, and maybe it is. Inns is low. Xanta taps him out, and we have to go to overtime. Even if they find this kill, maybe more, but no, the information gathered. Smoke dropped. Spam. Oh, not really connecting either way. So yeah, it is a pathway to B, but this is the stack site. Everyone's here, but Khan gets the kill into Liaz. 20 seconds in, feeling the pressure, hearing them coming through CT. He's done damage, done plenty. Two kills for him. Backside with the follow-up, the bomb dropped. Khan disconnected. And even he finds Backside. The round is lost. Flyquest will draw first blood in overtime. One HP. Maybe the AWP can be recovered. Something at least for him. Liaz, worse for wear, but Dexter might just jump on the Assassin's Creed style. He's thinking about it. If he goes now, backs are turned, but doesn't commit. Vexite is standing between every piece of utility, battered and bruised, even more. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. He's had a rough time. The amount of util he has caught personally in that position, it feels like Namiga are intentionally targeting him. And now they're going to target B. There is his flank. That's the key factor. Dexter is pushing in the back lines. And he catches the timing. First kill, clean, onto Flamis. And Inns is still in the side, still fragging out. He has low, but Dexter getting the kills. And FlyQuest. This double setup for Otter A is going to be really difficult to break through if it's anti. You see he's going on his own. Khan dropping the utility to force the fights and the players at camera. Alistair being mobile gets the first and leaves a little bit of pressure but the Miga aren't done yet 20 seconds left they've got to make a decision they needed that kill on Liaz to come scot free instead it doesn't and whilst Liam might make his way over towards B Vexite has been waiting here the entire time and he will lock it in three rounds out of three for FlyQuest on CT. Yeah, that's the amount they got in regulation. <laughs> and they get three straight out the gate in a row. Now it's just by Dexter giving up that opening kill. Alistair, uh, you know, you never want to highlight a play that's having you struggles. This is fun. Looks like it was going to be an aggressive play out of Namiga. With three players leaning towards eight. Blow on the smoke comes in from Khan. Was risky Bob with that secondary AWP that kicks things off for the Mega and close to the smoke goes Xanta in fully blind by Vexite. Yeah, that flash looked like it got stuck on something. Very unfortunate. Ali is walking. 
and there's a back turn. He can catch a huge timing. There it is. Second player spotted. Flick doesn't connect, but he's gotten space. Again, the, the molly just about misses the mark, and now Vexite needs to reposition in his after plant. Molly will tag Dexter, and he's still committing to punching in the digits. Vexite at the top of stairs needed that one. Between Dexter and Alistair, they need to pull a 2v4 out of the hat. Flamus. I really love that. He goes wide, and then that involves the rest of the Amiga defenders. And Alistair, known at the back of Fountain, can't hit the quick scope in time. So the Migra is a successful retake, and they stay alive for guaranteed at least one more round. Yeah, great retake. Patience from Leah, just waiting for the support to come over. And I'm not sure how aware they are of his position based on the usual left thrown. Like, I feel you wouldn't throw that molly if you thought someone was at double. It's still the flash play forward. Oh, but Dexter, perfect pre-fire. Gets tagged as he jumps over, but he's done his job. And he's going to stay present. Keeping it painful for an Amiga, but Khan is undeterred. On the other side, further aggression. Flamus peeks out with the organ hand. Vexite with the killing blow. And a five on three. It feels like maybe this is the opportunity. Dexter, big kill onto the A player, the drive by. That's drawn. Khan over. Risky Bob falls. And FlyQuest looking to close in flawless fashion. The bomb running to A, given it's completely open. They have everywhere. They've got B, they've got A, they've got middle. Khan is cowering in temple, praying to every god he can find. They're all dead. Vexite hits the killing blow, and FlyQuest will finally close Anubis. Yeah, they will indeed, won't they? That's one step closer to continuing their journey in that lower bracket run. But Namiga made that one look really competitive. And that was their map pick. It's FlyQuests up next, just after this. Presence. See a FlyQuest budge. But Dexter, he's undeterred. He has the incendiary if they do commit. So he's holding onto that. Safety measure, keeping the stack in play. Flamis, oh, that felt like it was ins. Alistair at least is stepping in for the double. Risky Bob and Xanta collect Flamus with a follow-up. And this hit onto the A-side just by walking into the stack. It does not matter. Dexter has to clutch. And all he has is an incendiary and a USP. Walks through, almost thinks he has the timing, but it's a triple from Flamus. Or are they going to wait it out? It looks to be the former rather than the latter, especially with the space generated by Lear in top banana. But they have to go past the scout of Alistair first. Yeah, FlyQuest have no idea. Obviously, they're aware of the possibility. And now they know. Ali is going to see two players on his scouting. Oh my god, Alistair! A collateral headshot with the scout. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, the side crumbles, but what a shot. That gives them a way in. It really felt like the retake was never going to be on and they were going to save the pistols. But suddenly in a three on three, you know that Khan has also been tagged by the scout of Alistair. It's his magic stick that tries to give Flycrest a route into this retake. But with Flavis dealing with ins, it's Vexite on the AK. He does have armor behind it, but not ready for the combined swings of Flamis and Lear. Call between a rock and a hard place. Alistair... Deals with the rock, but the hard place slams him from behind. Further util thrown forward. The T's really want to fight around this corner, and they've found success. Dexter on the other side of the smoke. In's trying to spam one back. Vexite doing his best to hold on between him and Liaz. Keeping them out of A, and In's denying the rotations. Ali is pushed down to T-Ramp. With the bomb on the other side, there's a chance for Khan if he gets past this orb. Dodges the shot, Ali jumps around the corner, just gets away. Don't bait him out, wasting time. A Molotov, but a smoke. Al says playing games. <laughs> he really is playing with his food, but Inns is there to finally get the kill. And Flyquiz get on the board. Khan's going to be sitting short side. Information, one in boiler. Again, hefty HE, but Risky Bob on the spam gets revenge. After death, it's a martyrdom frag from Inns. Ali's orb revealed. Leah's in pit. Dexter catches the smoke lurk of Leah. And that allows Vexite to stay present at A. 
and he's going to come around the corner at the perfect time. The flashbang actually doesn't quite blind them. Now they can wrap. Dexter might be in trouble. Put pressure there. They can't catch out the rotations immediately because Dexter's not going to call them over. He doesn't see anything. Now he can hear the footsteps. Tucked into the chapel. It's him that grabs the first headshot. Flamus will trade. And a 1v3 opens up all kinds of possibilities in this afterplant. One feels enough for Dexter. No utility for this retake, but they have the kit. Oh, another HE. How do they keep getting away with these? The utility damage is phenomenal from FlyQuest. Ali's there to finish the job with the orb. Ah, the flames keep him at bay. Wanted to perhaps peer into apartments at the back of the molly, see if it forced someone forward off the, the jump up. I think that's the idea. Still going to find his target. Lamus walks straight into the crosshair. Yeah, Adley has in support as well, which means he can just drop in the incendiary and get out of there. Meanwhile, Banana, look at the space that Dexter's got and Alistair's still hanging around. Storm again, and this time it's a role reversal. Lear gets the best of Dexter, so that'll pull rotates another flash play. FlyQuest have tried that a number of times, and the flash has not really been effective. Same story here. Khan, Lear, very low. But Lear locked into this corner. Alistair won't know what hit him. He needs to be diligent in his clears, and he's not looking anywhere. Next site, though, on the bomb site. Will actually alleviate a lot of the pressure. They know that Lear's locked into Banana. He's got no time to win this now. Would need both kills and he can't find it. They want to test him again. A smoke behind, but Ian's. This is a powerful off angle. Besides, he wants to actually be the one that takes the aggression. A boost. He spots it. Dexter from below gets the follow up. From both sides, they strike. The Amiga caught trying to assemble a boost and they fall to the floor. Flamis has to clutch. Now he said it's a solo player on B. There is a weld. Next side's not going to give over this kill easily. He's playing a position where he can fall back and set up for a favorable retake. Strong off angle. The peak, perfect. Another attempt with the pistols on A. They're bursting through long. Maybe some space. It's a turtle down in the site. A split over towards B. Bexite hears them coming, falls back, has the support, but now he's the only one, and he's run down. That's AKs to be collected, and a bomb plant certainly secured. Risky Bob's even got a smoke for CT. Oh, he throws it deep as well, so Flamus can oh, walk forward and try and grab the rifle, but Inns denies it immediately. Risky Bob has just found two kills through the smoke, though, and he's even expecting Liaz. What a clutch from Risky Bob. Risky Bob, yeah, it is a risk. He goes forward and tries to spray ahead of their retake. Gets both. Would love to see that back. Even getting both these entries. Yeah, that's all kills for Risky Bob. People been asking, where is he? Here he is. Showing some presence top mid. They haven't extended particularly far past either of these points. And so FlyQuest haven't felt a need to move. But that's an opener. Question is, does that cause FlyQuest to budge? Looks like they're going to hold, stand their ground, and that means it's a must win round. And it felt like they have to go into B. Is there time? Yeah. I don't know if this bomb can make it back. 10 seconds. Vexite, he's present. The Molto 4 makes it even more tricky. Inns in the site. That's the bomb drop. The round one, even if you found the kills. But Inns, he gets them all. And that will be FlyQuest with seven. FlyQuest, will they repeat the success in Amiga with the apartments play? This is what unraveled this setup for them on the other side. Yes, yeah, smoke long. That's going to half the defenders already. Khan revealed. Inns gets one and a follow up. Oh, Inns, the swing. Ali picks up one in that mix, but Inns has done the job. Khan is still present. But he has questions as to where these FlyQuest players are. Not a kit on these two. With the bomb planted as Smoke CT, FlyQuest have a strong post plant. Lear has collected the kit and the incendiary, so he can clear out Lear's position. 
forced into the open. They can try and isolate this fight. Swinging past the truck is going to reveal them to sight, and that's where Dexter up on cold gets the headshot. Lee up, wide swung. Dexter with two, ends with his. That's the pistol of FlyQuest. Elimination map, potentially the round that will end their journey. They're not deterred. They're getting aggressive, pushing into second mid, trying to deal with Vexite. They've asserted control. Liaz aware of the possibility of the push, but he swings straight into it. And Ali, uh, oh, Ali takes down Vexite. Not what they were hoping for. Khan gets him too. This one is falling apart. Off the back of the aggression, Flavis is in the underpass. That's heart wrenching. But uh, uh, a very great design for Namiga. Oh. For Fly Quest, it also gives them something to work with potentially in the future. They might try and reassert their control in towards Banana. Dexter, that's really brave. And he gets punished. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, back of that bomb plant, Dexter's got the Galil. You know, you got that Hero AK over messing in the round before. Okay, and a further push back in. Not seeing Leah. Focused. Forward. And Leah was forward on the angle. Just about getting away. Oh, Ali had a moment. Runs out of bullets. So Namiga with an advantage. Khan smoke fades. He's all active on the line. A collateral. We saw Ali do it with the scout. Khan shows he's just as capable. And this will be eight for Namiga. Yeah, definitely feels. Concerning for FlyQuest. This is about to be 9-9. Who is it? Khan misses the chance. That's the AWP low, but Flamis, he's the one that can alleviate the pressure. Liaz tries to burst through the flames. A shot on the Flamis. They can't overwhelm. Khan misses the chance, and they burst through. It's just pistols. Oh, no. There's a smoke on long. Xanta has found the gap. He's in short very fast, and they don't have that bomb. He's holding on to it. A crossfire established. Vexite has this flash. And that's the play. It comes over. It's full white in the feed for Xanta. But Leah tries to step up. Ends with the recovery and FlyQuest around that they felt they had no right to win. But they overwhelm A. Yeah, they definitely had no right to win that whatsoever. That's just the hyper aggression. This time it's not just with Dexter. It's with the entire team. It's just a shame for Namiga because it felt like they had all the pieces in the right place. It felt like they'd stabilized after losing the bomb site. It didn't matter. They still had the bomb. And now they go back to their aggressive ways. Risky Bob taking risks, pushing all the way forward. And the flashbang support is fantastic, but Inns still is able to deal with him. Yeah, he falls and that's the round. At least there's a chance in the three on four. Very aggressive play. Khan redeems himself after feeling like he let that round slip previous, couldn't find his orb shots. Now he's the, the solo piece here. Ali's jiggling the angle. Khan misses the mark again. Smoke and flames deployed. Santa skirts through and he gets both. Alistair versus Khan on this all pen to head and Khan goes incredibly aggressive. Alistair will still find Flamus. With Risky Bob slinking into short. That was the space. Still three players at A. Khan gets the kill onto Vexite. This still feels like a, a classic Dexter round though, because you've got space in towards the apartments with the opening kill. Even though you've been traded out, Namiga is still interested in this side of the map. So FlyQuest understand this. They're just going to hit straight in towards B. Xanta deals with Liaz, and then that means the rotation is going to come forward. And Lear needs to stand tall at the back of the bomb site. In's not ready for him. No Molly. Also offset his position. Dexter just spams him out. That's one way to deal with him. A three on two. The bomb can be put down now. 
And Alistair needs the fight and can't find it on Risky Bob. So it's the IGL versus the entire squad of Namigo. Great tap, but it's not going to be enough. Namigo, take the lead. Yeah, that one's rough. He has starts to get curious. They'll know he's got no support. And Khan certainly favoured in this fight. Good swing. Off the back of it, they have to go into B. Molotov forward doesn't actually get Leah. Xanta starts to burn. Oh, he's busted. He's gone. But that might bait them into thinking that Leah isn't present. A double up in the back of side. Dexter is wrapped around and both of them find their kills. In fact, Thomas through the smoke means Risky Bob is still here, but Inns doing everything he can to keep FlyQuest in this map. Bob not to be planted just yet, but Inns, of course it's Inns, swings his third in the round. FlyQuest onto 11. Yeah, I'll be honest, a big portion of that as well was the entry path in that FlyQuest take in this site. It's both Dexter and Inns that walk through the CT smoke and they gain so much space. They clear out church. But with the rotation of Khan moving off the line over at Arches, that's has given FlyQuest a little bit of an opportunity. 30 seconds left there. They need to wrap the smoke. Goes up just in time. Dexter finds Flammus and they're going to do a risky pop in the pit. He's on fire. Leah comes from top mid and Zanta pushes through the smoke. He's taken down one. Ends with the orb, gets another, and it's Dexter again required to clutch one versus two. Your position, he's been in already. And this time again, it's Leah that gets the best of him. Overtime will bust. Now for FlyQuest. The side of map potentially on the horizon. And a fast B play to potentially seal the fate of everyone. Risky Bob down mid once more. It's trademark Namiga, but it's trademark FlyQuest. Getting all the kills immediately as Vexite carving open this B bomb site. Taking it away from Namiga limb by limb and ends over the top of the smoke. Makes it an impossible one for Khan. A 1v4. And Inns locks it in through the smoke. He does not want FlyQuest to die on the Inferno Hill. OT, here we come. Yeah, and what a way to get there. It's pure aggression from both teams. Risky Bob going down mid. Goes one for one in Vexite. Check out that spray transfer. Gives Dexter a little bit of room, but it also prevents Namiga from progressing. And Dexter's just taking liberties. Look at this. Flamus just about. Ready for Dexter's push. First blood and first advantage given to the Amiga. I thought the timing was going to be great for Dexter. Oh, Pexite, oh, like, what? what? One HP? How does an oh, all 99? What? Now needs to wave away the pressure, and that smoke will burn valuable seconds off the clock. They can't respect it. They're going to go through. Off the back of the flashbang, Leah has a look, trying to find something. He's up in the open. But he's still going to find the kill, even two. The trade comes through. Heichi goes onto the bomb planter. Inns is able to get away. Vexite with one single point, but the orb in his hands. There's no utility to take him down. Luckily enough, because this position always mollied, always Heichi. But he has a chance to frag. Spots one, gets the kill, but now he has to do it all. One HP, no way. Swings and a miss. Three players here. Molotov goes behind. Flashbang is perfect. In's Tark spot. Risky Bob slips in, just gets away. Both these players very low on B. How much of that is confirmed is the question. The 4v4. And Leah's walking through no the smoke. way you do this. He's walking through. Ali. Oh, gets the kill. Again, it comes at a cost of HP. It gives a small advantage for the T side. That's fantastic. That one kill brings the AWP over. 35 seconds. You've had space in apartments the entire time if you're FlyQuest. Needs to get a wriggle on with the bomb, Dexter. Needs to make his way forward. This will always be A. And Alistair in an uncomfortable position for Khan to really deal with. 20 seconds left. Flamus. He has to be the guy. Comes close to this balcony smoke. Hears them drop. Trying to send into this bomb site. Flamus not noted, but in the nick of time, Dexter bails out FlyQuest. The nade won't do the killing blow. The no scope, whilst it looks fancy, won't collect. And FlyQuest. You start to think that maybe he could 
disrupt and give time for the rotation. That's an insane shot from Ali, by the way. And it sets him up to stay alive, get the follow-up, get the information that there's only one player at A max. Avoiding the utility, flashbang, perfect. And now you feel like maybe you want to extend a bit further. Oh, definitely do now. Santa just goes for the jump peek and Dexter spams him out. A couple of isolated duels, FlyQuest fighting their way on to B successfully. And now if you're Lear and now if you're Risky Bow, of course you've got to go. For this retake flash through the smoke, it'll be good. It should deny the bomb and it, it doesn't. Does knock off the bomb planter, but Ince is there to trade. And you know that flash was thrown from CT. So FlyQuest can bring Vexai over. To the scene of the crime, Risky Bob hoping to grab a kill, but can't find it. This one also looking fairly standard out the gate. Banana control to be established. Lot of util, the flashbang good. Dexter comes out ahead and the trade is very clean. Even further damage on towards Khan as well. Vexai contained. But at least Alistair's here to help him and offer that support. Network so close, but Vexai doesn't need anyone. He's doing everything by himself. Khan confirms he's the last player standing in Banana. Will trades to an AK. You get forced out of the issue and look at all these players. One in apartments, one in second mid. You can't get past FlyQuest. They got up to series point. I don't think that was anything too particularly special. The winner of this goes on to play FaZe Clan. So that could be a potential rematch. That feels worlds away right now. Double nades in towards top bracket. And double layering over at long as well. Alistair takes first contact and ends will swing. Almost feels like it really is the beginning of the end. Lear and Dexter are about to joust for potentially a final time at Banana. Whilst all that's going on, it's more grenade damage. It's more deterrence out of top mid. Yeah, that could have been Risky Bob's map done. Just about avoids the grenade. And a pause for a moment. Namiga seeing if FlyQuest will extend for info, but when they've got the player advantage, they don't need to move. This fight could be everything hold up, actually. Dexter does win out on Banana, so that is huge. With Alistair falling, could get a little weird. Bomb to be planted. Low HP, there is a way. They've got the util, a set of smokes, but a player in apartments, a player in short. And in fact, everyone's going to be coming from these avenues. Vexite running over. A Molly, a Haiti available. Xanter, it hinges on him. He gets caught off. If he can't find this kill, Risky Bob has nothing to work with. The flashbacks fall there fast onto a Xanter in the mini pit. Can't find the kill. It's Vexite again to close out the map. It takes another overtime, but FlyQuest stay alive in Chengdu. Yeah, that's the experience really shining through at the tail end, but let's take nothing away from Namiga. They've shown a fantastic display of skill. And for a team that no one really expected too much from them, they ran it close against FaZe after being blown out in the first half of Inferno.